What's shaking? Fire Nation JLD here with an incredible audio masterclass on how to use videos on Facebook to achieve virality and credibility with Billie Jean. Billie Jean is also today's sponsor, so we are going to invite you, Fire Nation, to join us on a live webinar this June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern Time how to create ads that sell. Fire Nation, you need to learn how to create ads that sell. So visit eofire.com slash Billy and we'll see you there. So what's up, Billy? I want you to say what's up to Fire Nation and then, of course, share something interesting about yourself that people like me don't know. Fire Nation, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will tell you the one. Thank you for having me. I appreciate yes. this opportunity. I've been following your stuff forever, man. I, I'm just, I just commend you in the highest degree to what you created and, and the community you established. It's really, really impressive, man. So, big shout out to JLD. And something interesting about me is people don't like a lot of people have like morning rituals and. Right. Like they're like, oh, I wake up every morning and I do X, Y and Z. And I should definitely be better at that. And also people have rituals for how they calm their day down. Let me be very clear to everybody listening. I am the absolute worst at all of the above. (laughs) But there is something at nighttime I do to calm down. And it's called playing Xbox. If you come into my house, I have six Xboxes. I have a wall (laughs) with six TVs mounted to it with an Xbox on each one. And so when the sports games happen, like it's NBA season right now, so we can watch sports up top on the little screens. And then we have two giant screens where we can play Xbox. And when I was a kid, uh, my cousins used to live with me and we literally used to play video games every day, but we'd have to split the screen. So when you play the game, it gives you like just the top left corner or the bottom right corner. And I always said to myself when I'm like, dang, I wish I just had a, uh, a console for each person so we didn't have to share our screens anymore. So that reason I bought a bunch of Xbox. It was a bunch of TV. So we didn't have to share screens. (laughs) I love it. And Billy, I've been to your office a bunch of times, which is a blast, but I've never been to this house. So uh, I think next time I'm in (laughs) San Diego, I'm coming over, we're going to get Xbox and TV going and we're just going (laughs) to have a nice unwinding session. And (laughs) seriously though, thank you for those kind words really means a lot. Um, I really have just been very impressed to see what you've been doing over the past few years to just really rise above and beyond, which is why Fire Nation, you may or may not know this at this very moment in time, but on April 13th, when I switched from my daily episodes to once a week interviews and then a variety show on Thursday, so two days a week, and I decided to shift from that 2,000 daily episodes that I had done to that new format, I was like, you know, when I do this and it goes actually forward from that point, I'm going to have one single sponsor because I just really want to have this one great company slash person slash business that's going to essentially be a partner of mine going forward with Entrepreneurs on Fire. And here we are talking the first episode in June that's going live and you are now bearing witness to that. You know, in the past I've had two sponsors on almost every single episode for the last 2,000 episodes, but now going forward there's only going to be one sponsor and that sponsor and the person who I knew and I went to you before anybody else, Billy, because I knew that you'd be such a perfect sponsor for Fire Nation because of how well we worked together in the past is Billy Jean because Fire Nation, this is what, or this is the type of content and the type of learning and the type of training that you need to take wherever you are in your entrepreneurial journey and, and go to the next level. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today with our audio masterclass, which is how to use videos on Facebook to achieve virality and credibility. Now, we're going to be talking about that, which is super important, but you're going to see we're going to be talking about so many bigger things as well because Billy does so much more than just this. He's crushed this area, but he's crushed other areas as well. So this is going to be a masterclass with this and so much more. But what I really want to make sure you do, and I'm going to be giving this call to action throughout this entire episode is you need to make sure that you're joining us this coming June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific. That's June 13th, 2018, 10 a.m. Pacific, because Billy and myself are getting together and we are going to be hosting a live webinar on how to create ads that sell. And if you are not currently creating ads right now, Fire Nation, you are leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. And if you are creating ads, there's some things you're not doing well or optimally that you could be doing a lot better that could be taking you to that next level. So again, that's 10 a.m. Pacific. That's gonna be 1 p.m. Eastern. And it's eofire.com slash Billy. eofire.com slash Billy. You wanna be there live 
If you're listening to this after June 13th, still go to the same URL, eofire.com slash Billy, and we will have something for you there. Absolutely. But it's not going to be as good as being there live. So hopefully you're going to be there live. Let me chime in there too. I think the biggest thing with the training is a lot of people, small business owners that I've done consulting with over the years and taught, it seems like people can create ads to get likes, comments, and shares. But everyone has a challenging time generating sales or at least, at least generating enough sales to cover the ROI, to make it worth their while. So I'm going to be showing you how my agency for years has been doing this for some of the largest franchises in the world and some of the biggest companies in the world to show you how to make it work. But also, more importantly, for the small companies, for the for the individual entrepreneur with a small team that every dollar counts. And when you lose that money, it makes your stomach drop and you're so afraid to invest in ads. I will give you a blueprint. I will turn on multiple cameras in my office. I will have my boards. I will give templates, worksheets. I will give you verbatim exactly what to do so that your ads don't suck anymore because I love you and I love John. I love you too, Billy and Fire Nation. I love you as well. And I just want to emphasize one thing that Billy said that was so true and so genius. Likes, comments, and shares, Fire Nation, when it comes down to it, those are just vanity metrics if they don't turn into sales. If they don't turn into sales, it's just vanity metrics and all that money you spent is literally being flushed down the toilet. So you are going to be coming to this webinar and learning so much from this because Billy, he just opens the door and he just shares it all. So what I want to say first, Billy, is I'm fired up. We have a great month ahead of us. We have a great three months ahead of us. It's going to be an awesome time that, that you and I are hanging out, dropping value bonds for Fire Nation, giving cool value in every way, shape, and form. But first and foremost, you are a big numbers guy. And you say that, you know, let the numbers dictate and let the trends tell. So really dive deep into that. What do you mean by let the numbers dictate and the trends tell? How can Fire Nation use this for our business? Sure. So when people are creating advertisements or creating any kind of content to promote their business or their service or their product, whatever it may be, something that we say internally is exactly what you said is let the numbers dictate. In other words, don't just lock yourself in a room and say, all right, what does my audience want to see? What does my audience need to hear? Instead, use your resources. So for example, there's a service, it's called Google Trends, T-R-E-N-D-S. And on Google Trends, you can virtually go there right now as you guys are listening to this and just type it in. It will tell you what the country slash the world is talking about, what they care about. So like, for example, if you look right now, a lot of people may be talking about like the British wedding, Right. Or the what was the wedding with Meghan Markle or whatever, or <laughs> the new se- the new season of The Bachelorette. No, the new season of Westworld. It's so good. The new season of Westworld. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, as and watch this, this is a great example, as opposed to John saying, hey, everyone cares about Westworld and me saying everyone cares about The Bachelorette. We can literally search it on Google in two seconds and let the numbers dictate. So then when I'm going to create content, I can piggyback off of whatever is hot and trending. And that's the way that people are, uh, that's the way to, to get your content shared way more and to get your engagement way up so that you can make more sales. If you even take the example of like Justin Bieber, the way that Bieber was found was he was doing covers of trending songs. So what else you guys can go to is YouTube. And if you're on the YouTube app on your phone, in the bottom left corner, depending on what you have, Android or iPhone, you will see something that says trending. And you can see the videos that are trending and million, they're getting millions and millions and millions of views. So you can base your content kind of picking back off of those things that people are already interested in. And you're going to see your click-through rates go through the roof. Fire Nation, I think it's super important to recognize that this reality that we are all standing upon the shoulders of giants. Like I've learned from people who have come before me. Those people have learned from people that have come before them. And so when you are out there and you're searching for trends and you're looking for what is actually trending on YouTube or, you know, wherever, wherever it might be, what you're just doing is you're standing upon the shoulders of giants, people who have come before you, whether it be an hour, a day, a year, a decade, it doesn't matter. We can learn from these people and we can take that content and then we can, you know, make it our own, bring in our personality, our things and go forward with that. And that's just one thing that I've seen you do time and time again, Billy, so well. You know, for me, I saw that podcast interviews back in 2012 were kind of trending, but I said, how can I take that and take it to the next level and, and add my personality? Here's a great idea, for example. So right now, let's go with that theme of The Bachelorette kicking off. 
what I can do is I can run it out on Facebook right now to everyone who likes The Bachelorette. And obviously I talk about business and entrepreneurship, so I can do a headline like, uh, here's why dating and sales are exactly the same. And I'm talking to an audience who's watching a show about dating, so I know that's going to hook them, but now I'm interlacing what I do on the business tip. And then I can do some creative analogy about how dating and sales is the same thing. Ooh, or Billy, how about this? How about something like how to earn a rose from your perfect customer or client? <laughs> I love that. There you go. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> You're like writing it down <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I might test this right now. But it's real, right? So that's how you really get specific and you take advantage of this data that's free and you can get in two seconds from the Googles. So what do you mean when you say select a theme and energy and then copy genius? Because for me, like I know that I can get distracted. You know, there's just a lot of things that are going on out there. I call it the weapons of mass distraction and that can just take (laughs) us all down. So what do you mean by that? So I think everyone in the world right now should be using video content as your primary source to generate business. Uh, People buy from people that they trust And you can kind of trust an image if there's like a well-written article about the image supporting it. But nothing builds trust like video. When people can see your face, they can see your eyes, they can read your body language. And when you're creating these videos, it's important that you stand out. Right now, because everyone's eyeballs are on social media, you have to understand that people go to social media to be entertained. That's the game. People go there not to see your business or your bull crap that you're trying to sell. They go to be entertained and that's it. So when you are competing against someone getting married, against someone's birthday, against, you know, the latest thing that Trump said, against all this other jazz that's happening in someone's newsfeed, you got to come with something creative. So when you're doing that and you're thinking about what should you create, you need to start by picking a theme. Picking a theme and an energy that you want. So, for example, uh, I have a new video that were cre- that I just created right now, um, and I really wanted to incorporate family as my theme and message. And so, uh, I just got a brand new car. Um, I got a Ferrari, kind of douchey, but I, I did say that. <laughs> so, I wanted to somehow like talk about this milestone. But I also wanted to bring the theme of family. So it's kind of like, how the hell do you do both of those? But once I identified that I wanted the message to be about family and not cars, I knew immediately that I should put my daughter in the video because that's kind of cute. And so I also got her a Ferrari, like a little toy, like convertible car one. It's like 100 bucks on Amazon or something like that. (laughs) And I did this video with just me and her walking out and going on a daddy-daughter date. And I'm in my car and she's in her car. And we just like go for a joyride. That's the whole theme, right? But it started because I picked a theme of family. And then once I decided that, it became easier to kind of think of some kind of creative concept. So then once you choose your theme, you guys, then what I like to do is what I like to call copy genius, meaning – You don't have to like think of every original idea that you do. There's like millions and billions of people creating content every single day. So what I like to do is once I identify the theme of family, I will then go to YouTube and I will type in something along the lines of the greatest family videos of all time. Or in this case, I did the greatest dot daddy daughter dates of all time. And then you get to see what people are doing. And then I got, uh, when I searched for that, I saw a lot of um, military moments, like a dad returns home and then the daughter sees him. And you watch these things and you almost want to cry immediately. So then that allowed me to creatively say, holy cow, I just need to capture micro intimate moments of me and my daughter having like you know, a a strong love. And that's kind of what helps me like come up with these creative concepts when we do video ads is looking to see what's already out there, what's trending, what's going well and searching for the greatest of blank and then just making that my own. Does that make sense? Makes a ton of sense. And Fire Nation, just to kind of recap on a few of these things, I mean, you have to entertain. That's what people are going to these platforms for, as Billy said, to be entertained. And what's more entertaining than video? Nothing. Like a, a written post, not as entertaining. A picture, mm-hmm. not as entertaining. Video is entertaining. Then what's that theme you're going to choose? And I love how you chose that theme of family. So you brought in your daughter with that. And then how do you copy genius? You went to Google and you actually typed in the greatest and then, you know, boom, fill in the blank. And Daddy-daughter moments. Daddy-daughter moments. <laughs> 
moments, <laughs> the greatest daddy daughter moments. And that was the theme that he was going with in that moment. And then guess what? He had all this inspiration that he could then say, you know what? That's not me. That's not me. That wouldn't work for my situation. Ooh, that one's good. And people exactly. like that. Let's do this. Yep. And, you know, I think Upworthy is a great example of this. You know, it's a place where you can go and you can watch videos and people just like vote on what they uh, are watching the most of. And then you can just go to that and you can be like, wow, like this is what people right now are caring about. So actually you, you mentioned military and we're talking over Memorial Day weekend right now. Like maybe that is a huge mm. theme right now because it is Memorial Day weekend, you know, to those, you know, soldiers who have given the ultimate sacrifice over the years. You know, this is like their John, weekend. Like John, shout out to you, my man. Holla, thank you for that. I did serve this country. Appreciate that. And, you know, Memorial Day is for those who gave that ultimate sacrifice. And so that could be a whole video theme around that, which could be, which could be really cool. And now you just went with Google Trends, which is what we first started talking about. You found out it was tr- like trending Memorial Day and then based the whole thing around that using both those tactics together. I love it. You see how this all ties together, Billy? Yeah, it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Fire Nation, do you see how this all ties together? And this is where I think you just take things to the next level, Billy. And I'm going to link up some of my favorite videos of yours and there's countless, but there's just some unbelievably epic videos of you when it comes to props and music and environment. I mean, you just take it to the next level because you say, listen, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a businessman. This is my life. I am serious. And you just take this to the next level. And I mean, these props, the music, the environment, it's a literally, I feel like it's a Hollywood type production show. So talk a little bit about that, how you do it and why it's important. As I was teaching a lot, I I tell people to like, hey, you know, you really need to start doing this video thing. And like a lot of people listening right now, you say, look, I know how to do video, but I'm boring or I don't know how to entertain on camera. I'm not that person. And you have all of these limiting beliefs. So use this simple formula, you guys write this down. If you're listening, use props, music and environment. And every single time you set out to create a video, you need to fill in the blanks for which props you're going to use. So for example, one thing that everyone here should be doing is using oversized anything, (laughs) like an oversized pencil, an oversized water bottle, a playing card, like people just get a kick out of giant So go search out (laughs) some giant stuff and get it or some really small things that are typically large and put them in your video. If you're a teacher that teaches someone how to do uh, calculus, then get a giant calculator as your prop. If you're a doctor who saves lives, then get a, a giant heart that's a stuffed animal that's in your video. Something that's going to grab someone's attention and be a pattern interrupt and catch them off guard. Next is music. Music is everything. Music controls the emotion that people feel. And when people are emotional, they buy stuff and they take action. So big resource that I use is called audiojungle.net. And in addition to that, uh, there's uh, artlist.io, A-R-T-L-I-S-T dot I as in igloo, O as in Oscar. (laughs) (laughs) So when you guys go to those, they allow you to search for music by emotion and you can purchase royalty music from those sites. And that royalty music usually costs you like eight bucks a song. And now you can legally use it in your Facebook, Instagram and YouTube ads. So music does everything. You can virtually go there and just type in the word scary and it'll give you a whole bunch of songs that sound scary. Right. (laughs) Exactly. You you hear all that stuff. It's crazy. It's so much fun. And then the next little bonus tip for you guys is when you're on the site, you can categorize by best sellers. So you can find the scariest song categorized by best sellers. And that means the audience has already spoken about what they like. So I choose the best sellers because the numbers are dictating, not my opinion. And I know the song is hot. And then the third thing I do is I switch up the environment. So for example, um, one is use your work environment. So like if you're a doctor, like maybe you should start off in a doctor's office as opposed to like in your house, or maybe you should do the exact opposite, exact opposite. Maybe you should be a doctor and start off outside on the beach on the walking in the middle of a crowded subway on a bus, anything that's going to be different. So the industry that butchers us the most, John, hands down are real estate agents. Dude, real estate agents, if you go to LinkedIn right now, I challenge <laughs> everyone to do this, and you typed in, and you type in right now, real estate agent, every single one of them will have the same freaking headshot with the same corny smile, and they all just look like salesmen. They really do. And do not be different. Be Marketing rule number one, be different. 
right? So I, I just 100% advise everybody to really consider what environment do you have access to where you can make some really cool stuff. Okay, so going back over this real quick, select props. Is there a place that you like to go to? Like, is there a party store in San Diego, or is Amazon a good place for this? Like, where do you Amazon, find these props? Amazon's definitely great. Party City is another good one. There's another one called Shin Digs. S H I N D I G Z is in zebra, I believe, and it's just they it, it give you all kinds of cool stuff that you can purchase there. Um, so yeah, you guys should all. Get on top of that. And then music, audiojungle.net's a great example. And I love your um, advice and Fire Nation really be thinking about this and taking this advice. Shirts, search by emotion and mm-hmm. by bestsellers because then you're going to know that, hey, this is stuff that's really connecting with a lot of people. And then environments, he's going to be different. Be different. Don't be that typical real estate agent smiling, shaking somebody's hand in front of a house. Like that's the only thing I could picture when you said that. And <laughs> then I, I went back to 2009 when I moved to San Diego and became a real estate agent and had my be- one of my buddies in San Diego pose with me in front of a house, pretending like I was selling him a house, shaking his hand. <laughs> he actually reset me that photo like, like it was less than a year ago and I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, just <laughs> the journeys we're all on as entrepreneurs, Fire Nation, or just as humans, Fire Nation, can be well, so awesome. Well, let me piggyback awesome. off of that. The humans thing, please, you guys, don't forget, even though you're selling to quote unquote a corporation or a company, you are selling to humans. Yes. And at the at the deepest desire of every single human on the planet, everybody just wants to be happy. So in your video ads, you need to figure out how to connect happiness to your product or service and trust that will genuinely do what you're saying it will and you will sell every single time. Fire Nation, I hope you can tell that I'm having fun, that Billy's having fun. We always just have fun when we talk with each other because we, number one, really enjoy each other's company. Number two, we really love the content that we talk about. And number three, I hope that makes you want to join our completely free and live webinar this June 13th, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern time. And we're calling this incredible live webinar, how to create ads that sell. Like, let's just keep things simple. We're going to teach you how to create ads that actually sell. So when you put a dollar in, you're getting more than a dollar out so that you can have return on investment and create the life that you want. And that's eofire.com slash Billy to sign up. eofire.com slash Billy. Wait, John, you forgot to tell him one more thing. We'll see here eofire.com slash bill. They got to hear it three times, right? <laughs> they got to hear it three times. <laughs> I love it. So Fire Nation, as I kind of teased you also at the beginning, you know, for the next few months, Billy is the sole sponsor of Entrepreneurs on Fire. So it's just him, his wonderful energy, his wonderful personality, his wonderful sense of humor, his wonderful products and services and calls to action that we're going to be focusing on. And I really hope that you just take action on these things. Because again, I could have chosen a ton of people to bring on as the sole sponsor. I've had well over 75 sponsors in the past six years. And they're they're all good. But listen, Billy's great. And so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take a minute maybe two. And Billy and I are going to be having a nice little sponsorship chat. So I want you to have a a fun time listening to this. And then we'll be back after that sponsorship to, uh, to kind of continue this awesomeness. See ya. All right, Fire Nation. So I have Billy Jean on the mic for this incredible sponsorship read. And Billy, I think you have a question for me. You've interviewed thousands of entrepreneurs, some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world, most influential entrepreneurs in the world. But on the flip side of that, what's the stat? Like 90, 95% of businesses fail within the five, first five years. Yeah. And my question to you is why? What is that one thing that literally 95 out of 100 people are not understanding? Billy, they don't keep generating revenue. They don't keep bringing in customers and clients and they can't keep the lights on, period. It breaks my heart. And the, you know what it is, is I think too many businesses that literally believe that waiting on referrals is a way to run a consistent, predictable, and stable business, and it's virtually costing everybody everything. Literally, people take pride in the fact that they don't advertise. Like, oh, my whole business is organic and referrals. I would never pay for advertisements. And it's the most 
ignorant and arrogant standpoint that I see people take that's killing them. And so right now we have these tools available in 2018, 19, where Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, you can get in front of your ideal customer for one cent, three cents for a view. And people are afraid to take advantage of those opportunities because they don't understand one thing, how to get an ROI on their ads. There's no shortage of customers. There's just a short of of businesses who understand how to turn clicks into customers. And that's what I want to teach them, John. Yes. Stop going out of business. There's no reason. Like right now, if the only thing that's stopping you from growing your business is just getting more customers who can actually afford your services that you like working with, then you got to show up to my training. Like I, I literally made a video, John, that outlines exactly how to use paid advertisements to get customers for any business in any niche. I don't care if you do product sales, physical products. I don't care if it's B2B. I don't care if it's B2C. Whatever your excuse is, I'm telling you, you are one solid advertisement away from having productive predictable sales in your business and being able to truly scale and not fail. I want to watch the video right now. You know what it's called? Watchbillysvideo.com. <laughs> Watchbillysvideo.com. Fire Nation, you heard it from Billy Jean, the genius himself. Watchbillysvideo.com. Wait, John, here's the best part. It's freaking free. And it's free. (laughs) There's nothing. Just literally, I'll send it to you. Like, just I'll text it to you. I'll email it to you. Whatever the heck. Just go there and watch the video and just tell me it's not helpful. Love it. Watchbillysvideo.com. All right, Billy, we're back. And man, I just feel like this is Billy, Billy, and more Billy, which is exactly how I like it. There's no distractions. There's no other companies or services that are trying to get our attention here. And to me, that really brings us to our next point, which is the hero story, because it's about you your customer, your product, or the vendor. So talk to us about how you incorporate the hero story into your business. So this is this is like classic storytelling techniques here. You can find these in textbooks everywhere, and it's kind of the fundamental like storytelling elements, but I think it's it's not spoken about enough, and that's this. In every single advertisement story that you're telling, a video that you create, image that you put out, there needs to be a hero for your customers to connect with. If you look at progressive insurance, the hero is Flo, right? She's just this great character that you fall in love with that's there to like help you. Or the hero uh, of Geico is the gecko, right? Or the hero of Old Spice was Terry Crews. You know, um, it, it just changes all the time. So for you guys, you have to understand who's going to be the hero for your product or service. And usually there's two types of heroes that you see most commonly. Number one is the idol and number two is the reluctant hero. So the idol is like the rock star who has the life that you want, but you're not there yet. Something's stopping you from getting it. Okay. So that would be like Will Smith for me is the idol hero for me. Like he just does life right. He's freaking amazing. He's funny. He's the triple threat. He raps. He does all kinds of cool stuff. I like that's my idol, Will Smith. I just if, if I saw Will Smith, I would. Oh my god! <laughs> it's kind of like how when we met the first time, you kind of did that a little bit. <laughs> exactly the same, right? <laughs> and, and then the second one is the reluctant hero. So if you are the focal point of of your company, a lot of people feel uncomfortable with kind of the more. I don't want to call it cocky approach, but the more out of their approach. So a lot of people feel like the story they're comfortable sharing is this one. Hey guys, what's up? It's Billy. And honestly, I'm just a shy introvert. I really never believed I could be successful. But all of a sudden, one day I ran this Facebook ad and I discovered X, Y, and Z. And now I'm this Facebook ads expert. Now I do YouTube and speak on stages all across the world. Oh my gosh, I never thought this could happen to me. Yay. So both narratives work. You just have to choose the one that you're going to own for you. And the reluctant hero works well because it makes someone believe that maybe doesn't have the confidence in their self that they can do it too. Mm. And what other people realize is as your company grows, or if you're just not comfortable being the character around your company, then you have to start to make your customers 
the hero. So when I first started my company, before I started teaching, it was all about kind of like this journey of Billie Jean and, hey, you can do it too. But now as I kind of step back, the story is all about my students who have used our teachings and became extremely successful. So now we'll tell stories about them and how they're achieving greatness with X, Y, and Z tools. So you guys can do that for your uh, companies, uh, for your clients too. And it just works. It works. Choose a story um, or, or tell a story, choose a side, idle, reluctant hero, and just start speaking your truth and sales will roll in. Billy, I hear this all the time. John, I want to please everybody. John, <laughs> I don't want to upset anyone. And you say polarize like crazy. <laughs> so tell us why. Tell us why we polarize like crazy. <laughs> so nobody's remembered who just goes with the flow, period. Let's start there. Every single person that you guys can pretty much name that's come up as of late is someone who's just radically went against the system. So I'm going to give you kind of two angles on why you should be polarizing, okay? Number one is because it will cost you less money. The way that Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube work, it's all on a bidding system. And the way that they tell if an advertisement is, I guess, good or bad is based on how many people are engaging, how long they watch, how long they view. All of these factors are sending signals back to them, and they like to reward uh, content that brings a lot of engagement. In other words, they will charge you less money to show that content. So when you polarize, what happens is you have some people saying good things about you and you have some people saying bad things about you. But the best thing that happens is when they start arguing about it. And now there's all this natural organic conversation that's happening and people are reading forever and they're throwing stuff out there and they're sharing it and they're tagging it. And some people are doing it because they love you and other people are doing it because they can't <laughs> freaking stand you, but they're both making you money, baby. And that's what you got to realize. And bigger than that, they're both helping you impact people with your product or service. So the haters are just as valuable as the lovers. So when I did... I did this video ad, John, of the Wolf of Paid Advertising, oh, where I did so this good. parody. Yeah, I did this parody of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie, and I made it all about marketing. Well, it was polarizing because the story is based on Leo ripping off a bunch of people, stealing and getting thrown in prison. He's a complete crook. He's a complete criminal. So here I am glamorizing this character for the sake of attention, and some people were really offended by it. Other people saw the, the boldness and the genius of it and how it brought attention to my message and respected it. So if you look, if you guys ever see this ad, look at the thread of comments, it's like World War III. People just, <laughs> <laughs> some people are so inferior, like, oh my God, this guy is so ridiculous. And other people are like, you're my hero. And that's where you get the cult-like following. That's where you get the raving fans. Those are the people who will buy everything that you sell. They will show up. They will defend you. Uh, and that's it, man. Polarize, baby. Polarize. I loved your phrase, the haters are just as valuable as the lovers. I mean, think about that, Fire Nation. The haters, they are just as valuable as the lovers. So look at them as such. And also, it is so true, and I've seen this firsthand, haters create a cult-like following. It was about two or three days before Christmas, I got this just horrendous hater email, and I was just like, man, this is a really brutal email. And, you know, I was kind of, I was going to like delete it and move on and get a, be a little shaken up by it. But, you know, I was going to brush it off. I mean, you know, I was like, hey, you know, I'm a military veteran. I spent three months in Iraq. I can, I can take a bad email or two. But this one was exceptionally bad. But then I remember I woke up the next morning and it was kind of still hanging with me. And I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to share the entirety of this email. <laughs> and I just copy and pasted it into Facebook and just like sat back and I was like, let's see what happens. And I'm telling you, I've never had a more viral Facebook post. I got over a wow. thousand comments, a thousand. This was completely organic. You know, the amount of like likes and smiles and hearts. And what did it do? This hater created my, created my audience, Fire Nation, to come up and to just have this like cult like following to defend me and to say you're wrong about this, you this is yes. that and that and that. And 
this hater ended up giving me, I still call it my best Christmas gift ever. <laughs> it was truly my best Christmas. And I went on, I went on a video afterwards and I just wanted to say, you know, um, Mr. Hater, if you're actually watching this, I just want to say thank you because I really mean it. Like you gave me the <laughs> best Christmas gift I got in 2008 and 2017 period. It was the best. Well, dude, to piggyback too. Like, I, I mean, I think that's, that's a giant lesson. And here's what happens because a lot of people listening and I'm guilty of it. And I think you are too, John, as you just admitted is, is yo, sometimes those messages get to us. Yeah. We're human. And sometimes those trolls will get to you. And what I want everyone to keep top of mind is when someone is hating on you or saying something negative, we know this, but it's truly a reflection of what's going on in their life, whether it's jealousy or, or anger or whatever it may be. But once you really own that truth, you start to empathize with them and you get to this point where you see a hater and all you want to do is hug them. And understand like, yo, are you okay? Like, is everything all good? And I cannot count how many freaking haters we've turned into buyers and raving fans with this simple gesture. They comment something nasty. I'll have my social media manager direct message them and say, hey, obviously there was something you saw that you didn't like, but what we'd like to do is just offer you one of our courses for free so you can get more value and mm. kind of understand more of who we are and just let us know what you think. That little strategy amazing what it's done for our business. And we don't even talk about that because now people want to get free, but like, <laughs> but like <laughs> they pretend know. to be haters or like, wait, no, nothing for free. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's crazy how much it works. It's true. And I mean, you know, that just actually reminded me, this is an email I got like three or four weeks ago. It wasn't a hater, hater, hater email. It was the guy definitely said some negative words. It wasn't like anything crazy, but I remember just being like, you know what, there's a couple ways I could go about this, but I'm going to I'm going to really take some of the lessons that I learned from that really, you know, um, crazy email that I got back in the, around Christmas and some of the um, feedback that some of my audience gave me that I was like, wow, that is a great way to look at things. And one thing that they said was that one of my um, followers said was, John, just remember, hurt people hurt people. And I was like, that is so true. Like this, you know, that, that person was hurting back in the Christmas time, you know, it's holidays, something was going bad in his life or her life and they were just hurting. And I saw that with this three week ago email. And so I just responded back very simply. I'm like, listen, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So I know that you are going through something right now. I just want to say, you're going to get through this. I wish you the best. And I'm telling you 30, 30 minutes later, I get an email back from him. He's like, you know what, John? I feel like a dick. Like I read back <laughs> over that email and I don't even know where that came from. That's not typically me. He's like, you're right. I am going through something. I'll get through this. Um, you know, wow. thank you. Take care. Bye. But I, I love, I, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Like hurt people, hurt people. Give me credit twice, Billy. And then it's yours forever. <laughs> and I, I will. I, I definitely and Then will. it's yours forever. Text, Just twice. Cause that's, that's huge, man. That's, I like that a lot. I'm about to text people <laughs> right now. <laughs> you got a couple of good things, you know, the whole rose thing and then the hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I like to exchange value, not just take value from you. That's so good. Uh, let's kind of bring this home now because you are big about positioning, you know, about being recognized and familiar. And we all want to be associated with fame, whether that be Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it might be. Talk about that as we kind of, you know, bring this home for Fire Nation. Okay. So we've spent a lot of time today talking about creating content, kind of like what to say, et cetera. But then there's the other challenge where there's a lot of people listening right now who you have a ton of content, but you don't actually get it out anywhere. And that's 50% of the battle. So there's cool things you can do with targeting. We'll jump, we'll dive more into this on, on the webinar, but you can control who sees your content. So, for example, as opposed to thinking about your ideal customer and like which customer you want to see this content, think about who can be your ideal distributor, meaning who has the eyeballs of your audience and then do all everything in your power to show them it. So, for example, let's say you want to be uh, featured on Ellen or some kind of big TV show in Los Angeles where you can get the address of where all of these people work and you can run ads specifically to those addresses so that they see your content. 
And if one of those pages shares it just one time, you will reach more people for like almost no money extremely fast. So I would make it uh, literally make a list of every address of the people who have your ideal customer and start showing them your ads and never stop. And because they see you all the time, they're going to think you're like the greatest thing since sliced bread. Period, because that's all they know. So this is kind of like inceptioning the game, if you will. When people are recognized, all it means is people are really familiar with who you are. Like the Kardashians, for example. They don't do, you know, well, they do a lot now. But a lot of people would argue that they don't do anything. But what they do have in common is that everybody knows who they are. Everybody's familiar with them. So when you have the ability to advertise to whoever you want, wherever you want, and you know that 80% of humans are spending 100% of their time on their cell phones on three major platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you can find out a way to show up to these people on all three of those platforms every single day, multiple times a day, you freaking win. And here's the cool thing. You can do that right now for like three cents of view on all of those platforms. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to, you just have to know how to freaking create ads and it's super duper easy. So like real estate agents try this all the time. They'll buy billboards, they'll buy their picture on benches and they'll spend like $20,000 to do that where they could spend literally three cents on a Facebook ad, another two cents on a YouTube ad, and another four cents on an Instagram video ad, and literally get way more exposure to the people who can actually afford their homes. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that's the tip that I would give everybody is be really strategic with who sees your content. And all of a sudden, from a credibility standpoint, you'll just blow up. Um, yeah, it's huge. And if you want to like speak on stages, advertise to the people who make those decisions so that they see your content. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy, I want to paint a picture for you right now. And Fire Nation, definitely, uh, you know, follow along here because picture myself and Billy, we are hanging out 40 years from now. We're like on some lake, we're on a, you know, just it's, it's overlooking, the sun's going down, we might be fishing, we might not be, who knows, but we look at each other. And, you know, we, we got gray in our beard and hopefully we, you know, are, are still able to move around a little bit. And we say to each other, dude, do you remember back when we could get three cents of you on a video? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so real. That is so real. That is, you should everyone write that down and take it to heart. Like it will not last forever. That's a very right now thing to do. And that's exactly why you guys need to go to the training, eofire.com slash Billy, so you can take advantage of this immediately. Like, no joke. <laughs> it's cr just crazy how the big companies are finally, finally starting to wake up to it. And it's terrifying for people like us, because guess what? They've been spending millions of dollars on Super Bowl ads and, you know, every kind of TV commercials that nobody ever watches and all these different things. And... Now they're going to be taking all that money and they're going to be pouring it into Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And guess what? This is a supply and demand thing. And so as the demand goes up and the supply goes down, um, the price goes way, way, way up. So this is a now thing. This is a 2018 thing. This is a 2019 thing because, man, this is not going to be, you know, like a 2040 thing, a 2050 thing because it's just going to be a different ball game like who knows what we're gonna be looking at those days as far as anything but i'm telling you this is a absolute right now thing so i'll give them a real life example so that strategy i was just giving you guys about targeting the addresses of the people with distribution here's the crazy thing if you talked to me about that strategy a year ago you used to be able to type into facebook People who work at Ellen, you can actually, and anybody <laughs> yeah. who had it on their Facebook profile, you can literally t advertise the people by where they work at. Think about how scary that is. You can do the coolest stuff ever, and it was super duper cheap. They took that feature away. And when they did, I had a whole bunch of people I'm like, oh my gosh, Billy, they took it away. How That's not fair, da, 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 da. It's like, dude, you don't control it. So when the opportunity is there, if you don't strike, you will lose. And it will be more and more, I guess... Uh, difficult to stay relevant because things are changing so fast. So as an entrepreneur, you need to be investing into your education. You need to stay on top of this stuff because when an opportunity comes up like that, you just don't know how long it's going to be around. Fire Nation, 
You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and you've been hanging out with BG and JLD today, so keep up the heat. And Billy, it's always a pleasure. It's always a blast. I am so excited, fired up, and honored with our partnership moving forward here. It's going to be absolutely incredible for me, for you, and for all of Fire Nation. It's going to be a great experience. So thank you for sharing your genius with Fire Nation today. For that, brother, we salute you, and we will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for having me, brother. Later, Fire Nation. Keep it genius, y'all. All All right, Fire Nation. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and thanking our only sponsor, Billy Jean, and just giving you that final call to action, Fire Nation. I know you've heard it, but you know, you were probably running or doing something and wanted to listen to the end of the episode. So now is the time to press pause. Whatever you're doing, head over to eofire.com slash Billy. Join us on this free live masterclass on June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern time. How to create ads that sell. How to create ads that sell. Get that ROI. I'll catch you there. eofire.com slash Billy. Peace, Fire Nation.